We got introduced into the funeral industry in 1982. We were the first ones to introduce fiberglass into this industry. And we would guarantee our cars would not rust for a lifetime. We did a lot of extra things to a coach that the industry wasn't doing. Really been a big factor in repeat customers. We don't have to keep selling cars. They're coming back to us and asking for our unit. Very seldom do we get compliments on a, a vehicle associated with death. With Mike's vehicles, it's just the opposite. People come up walking in towards the front door and, and you see them look at the car and they step back and they make positive comments about it. They're second to none. They are the elite funeral coach builder. One of our philosophies is that we will focus on one brand. We build Lincolns. My nephew Joe builds Cadillacs. He can focus on Cadillac and try to become the best Cadillac builder in the industry. I think what differentiates us from our competitors is the amount of time we spend, a lot of the non-value added time, like inspections. Some of our competitors have told me they spend 15, 20 minutes inspecting cars. We spend the full nine hours to make sure we do it right. Once they see the exterior of the car, the fit and finish, they know internally the things that they can't see are done properly with a group of employees that care, that want to make a difference. The quality, the deliverability, how they stand behind their product, there's nothing close to it. The coaches, no matter who builds them, are custom built, hand built by employees. Employees can have bad days. We gotta make sure that even on a bad day, the coach is built right. We have very few problems here, but if a customer does have a problem, we understand the urgency, they deserve that attention. So we go ahead and just send somebody out almost immediately. The majority of the funeral homes are owned by family businesses. And that's what we love about the Kellerman brand. We're a family business selling to family businesses. I think we all understand each other. It's working with them and building relationships. It is a great feeling for us that we know when we get a car and we deliver it to people. And a lot of these people we've been doing business with, these funeral homes, for decades, they expect us to sell them a, a, a good car. It's just vital that, you know, when we have anything on the road with our name in it, that it, it speaks of professionalism, speaks of caring, and speaks of quality. Our sales have gone up drastically since we started selling Platinums over the last five years. We happen to build hearses, and we want to build the best. But we build the best so that we can offer quality, uninterrupted employment. When you can get an employee trained, and they like what they're doing, and they get very good at it, and you don't lose them, we can build good cars. We go back to the golden rule. You've learned that from day one. Treat others the way you'd want to be treated. Mike and Joe are both great examples of that. You can't help but want to do a good job for people like that. I think the biggest lesson I've learned from my father is to value people, and value people meaning our employees, our customers, our dealers, and everything will follow. I really think it's a privilege to be in a business where you really feel like you're, you've got a product that you can be very proud of and something that is going to enhance my business and give the funeral homes a car that they really want. I feel that we're the best in the industry. Now, I believe that in my heart and we're working hard, but we're not the best we can be. When you do the right things, I think the right results will come.